We all know starting a YouTube channel can be tough, and that's where these guys come in. For seven years, they've been giving new YouTubers a boost that's needed to go big. If you need views, you'll be guaranteed to get them. And on here, some views can get you even more. If you're interested in investing in your channel, simply click the link below for 10% off any promotional package. And now on to the feature presentation. After doing a previous video on who hates Marchand the most, I decided to put this licking expert in the spotlight once more by showcasing five players that he hates the most. This is about to get interesting. Number five, Max Pacioretty. Let's take a trip back in time a bit to 2011, when Montreal's forward decided to take a jab at Boston's little ball of hate on social media. Patch took his feelings of distaste for the agitator to Twitter while poking fun at his most prominent feature, saying, this game is longer than Marchand's nose, while comparing it to a playoff matchup game. Since the forward himself didn't have a Twitter at the time, he decided to get his revenge on the ice by scoring his first career playoff goal against the Habs, which led to a 2-1 victory, and by also letting it be known that he was happy to get even. I scored quickly after, but it's always nice to kind of rub it in a little. Therefore, we can be sure that these two won't be going out for drinks anytime soon. Number 4. Brandon Prust Yet another altercation that happened the year the Bruins won their last cup, but instead of involving Marchand's nose, this jab was below the belt. During a Vancouver-Boston matchup in December of 2011, the Vancouver winger decided to spear the Halifax native in the groin. You smacked my winky. Marchand could be seen laying on the ice hunched over while wincing in pain, but Prust just claimed it was all an act. It wasn't that hard and he sold it pretty good, Prust said. I saw him laughing on the bench after, so I don't think he was too hurt. And after he was slapped with a fine, he simply replied with, Best money I've ever spent. I think we can all agree here that this incident will be a memorable one for Marchand, but not in a good way. Number 3. Daniel Sedin it probably isn't a surprise to hear Marchand was the aggressor between these two forwards. And who would have thought that, of all people, he would seek out a Sedin to use as a punching bag, before stripping all hopes of a championship from the Sedin twins and the franchise in 2011. And according to him, he had no regrets about his actions, while answering about why he did it. Because I felt like it, he says. But the jabs didn't simply end there. Following the Swedish duo's retirement, Marchand had the nerve to chime in on Twitter, stirring up even more controversy, while saying, congrats on a great career to the Sedins, two of the best playmakers to ever play the game, all the best in retirement. Now, for a classless guy to say something classy, there has to be a motive, am I right? Number 2. P.K. Subban And while this rivalry was more apparent while Subban was in Montreal, it's one that will never die. The two have despised each other over the years and have evidence to show for it, including PK's back check in 2010 and Marchand's spear to the defenseman in the groin in 2014. And a year later, they exchanged slashes. And after a loss to their top rival team, Marchand didn't hold back when asked about his feelings toward PK. He likes to come in after whistles and grab guys and hit guys. A lot of slew foots during the game. Hmm. This sounds like one of the NHL's most dirty players pointing the finger. Anyways, I guess it takes one to know one in this case. Number 1. Thomas Plekanec So you might be wondering why the Maple Leafs center is number 1. And his spot in this list hasn't really been motivated by any antics on the ice, but rather off of it. When asked the question about who he hates the most out of the entire league, his answer was none other than the turtleneck wearer himself, saying, I hate him. I can't stand him. No, I probably shouldn't say that. I dislike him very much. Now, maybe things have changed since Placanic is no longer a hab, but nothing is more cut and dry than hearing it from a player themselves.